Hey, so as you can see by the title of the video, I'm going to review a GC2B binder. No points for guessing which binder, considering that's what I'm wearing right now. But yeah, so this is the full tank grey binder by GC2B. This is a size large, not that it matters, but yeah. So I'm going to be talking about some things about it, how it works, some things that are good, some things that are not so good. And basically just letting you know how it is in case you're wanting to buy one. And yeah. So first of all, this is the grey one, but they do have different colours. They also have the half tank style, which is basically just... Well, it's half of this. It's not. It doesn't go all the way down to your stomach. It like goes just above your belly, like below your chest, which I think are better for people with smaller chests rather than large chests. And they also do different colours. So they have black, white, grey, and red, green, and blue as well. And obviously they come in loads of different sizes and stuff. And make sure they check the size chart to know which one is yours. And a quick tip: if you are thinking about buying one, make sure that you email them for size assistance, whether you know your size completely or not. Still email. Them. The reason for that is you can look at the size chart after you've measured your chest and go, yeah, that's definitely my size. But if you email them and say, hey, these are my measurements, what size do you think I need? When they give you the size and you get the binder sent out, the size that they recommend, if it doesn't fit you, if it's too big, if it's too small, then because they recommended you that size, they will take full responsibility for it and pay for the exchange. So you don't need to pay to be able to exchange a binder. I don't know how much you actually have to pay if you don't. I don't know if you have to like pay for a whole new binder or if you have to like pay charge or like post it i don't know and i'll also tell you about the packaging in case you're wondering if it comes discreet or if it says anything like that might be sort of a giveaway of what you're buying but this is the packaging that comes in it has got something in it it's actually got the same binder but a size smaller because i ended up getting the wrong size but that's good because it means i can show you the binder sort of inside and what it looks like without taking this one off so you can see these lines here and the line here that's where the compression panel is it only goes over your chest so like if I was wearing this, stop there. It's only at the front as well, so it stops at the sides. So it'll only bind your chest, so it doesn't bind your stomach or do anything else. It will only cover the chest. And if I turn it inside out, you can actually see the compression panel itself. That's the compression panel. There's nothing on the back, so it's literally just the front of your chest. And the rest is just the normal sort of swimsuit material. So it's nice and breathable, it's nice and comfortable. And you know that it will only bind your chest and not your stomach or anywhere else. That could be uncomfortable. But yeah, so this is the packaging that comes in, it's just like a big package envelope thing. Ignore the fact that I ripped it open, imagine it's all nicely closed and neat. Um, I'll only show you this side just because it's got my dress on it, but I will say it has the customs declaration little square bit on it. And it says, category item is gift, and the detailed description of contents is clothing. So it doesn't say a binder, it doesn't say like chest compression shirt, anything like that, it just says clothing. And from what I can see, it doesn't actually have GC2B written anywhere on it, so it's not got the company name, so no one can like look it up and go, Oh, it's a, it's a binder company, this person must be trans. Not that anybody would, but like, it's nice to know. And when you get the package, you get a little piece of paper that's got your order on it, how much it costs, and your tracking number, and who it was shipped from, and all that stuff. Basically your invoice. And you also get a little postcard. It's very nice looking, juicy to be. And then on here it just says, hi there, thank you for ordering us, and some tips and suggestions, and don't hesitate to reach out and sort on social media. And then it's got some tips about binding with this binder specifically, and then a few just sort of general binder safety things so it says please be mindful of our exchange process make sure you try your binder on when you are clean fair enough if you're going to be trying it on and then sending it back you don't want to be all ditty and somebody have to wear your sweaty ass binder our binders have been designed to be pulled on over your head like a tank top so yeah then there's not the kind of ones that you can sort of step into i think it's because it stretches it out or the material just doesn't work that way or whatever just pull it over your head it's not a problem it took me less than two minutes to figure out how to do it and it's really not a bad experience, it's fine. It's don't force it, your binder is meant to have a snug fit, but if it doesn't fit over your shoulders, pack it up for an exchange or make sure you get the right size. This is true because the binder that I'm going to show you in a minute was a medium and it was about that much off of getting off my shoulders. They sent me a large, which is this one, and this binder perfectly, which means that that was just a little bit too small. So yeah, if it doesn't go over your shoulders, that's because it's too small, get the size up. And then it just says, we recommend binding 8 to 10 hours a day at most. Take a binding break during the day or even take a few days off if you can. I definitely recommend that. What I do is if I'm in and out for a few times, say if I'm out for an hour and then I'm back for two hours, and I'm out for a couple of hours and I'm back for an hour, what I'll do is as soon as I get in from being out, I'll take my binder off and just sort of basically strip to my boxes. I get too warm anyway, so. And then obviously I put the binder back on to go out, but it means that between going out when it's not absolutely necessary to wear the binder, I'm taking that hour or two hours off and it's just a welcome relief, it's nice just to have it off for a little bit and rather than sweating in it all day and it getting stinky and bleh. And then it just says if you experience any trouble breathing or pain, take your mind off. 
I think that's basically common sense for some people don't do it. Make sure that you do. If you're out of breath and you're getting all breathy problems, take it off. It's not worth the damage it could do. But yeah, that's all it says. It's actually a very nice card. It was stuck on my um, door with another postcard that I got from United UK that has their logo on it as well. They just look nice. So And yeah, so anyway, that's the packaging, that little postcard with some sort of tips on there. Did I miss one out? I missed one out. Yeah, sorry, I missed one out. It says you can swim in your binder, but wet skin and binders do not mix. I'm gonna try to put on while wet. Yeah, I didn't mention that this binder you can swim in because it's sort of like swim costume material. Oh, and I also forgot to mention that I do actually do a GC2V binder giveaway every single month. So if you do need a binder and you can't afford one, feel free to enter that. Just make sure that if you can afford to buy yourself a binder, please don't enter it because it is meant to be for people who have chest dysphoria who can't afford a binder themselves. And I get over 100 entries per giveaway and I can only give away one binder so I really really need it to go to somebody who actually needs it. But yeah, so I'll link this month's binder giveaway up there and in the description so if you do need a binder feel free to enter that. So we'll talk about in a few situations how this binder has sort of coped with certain things and stuff. So for me I get very very sweaty quite easily. I overheat a lot in the winter if I'm wearing a little bit too much or if I'm walking a bit too fast I get sweaty. I'm just one of those people that will, like drip with sweat at the tiniest little thing. So in terms of sweatiness, this binder actually does quite a good job. Um, it does, if you are sweating quite a lot, like I sweat a lot on my back, it's pretty gross. It will go through a little bit if you're sweating a lot and you're wearing quite a thin t-shirt. I have had a bit of a sort of wet patch on my back previously. This is swim material, so it kind of holds the water a little bit better. I don't know if that makes sense, but it does alright with it. It doesn't do terrible, it doesn't just like all my sweat come through. A little bit does come through, but it's sort of bound to happen because I sweat quite a lot. Also, as the uh, postcard said, it can be used for swimming, but don't put it on when you're wet. And that kind of goes with sweat as well, because it's still sort of moisture. So what I tend to do is, because like in my room it gets quite warm, I'm boiling now and I'm literally only wearing pants and a binder. So what I do before I go out, if I'm feeling a little bit warm, is I'll sit, I've got a little fan here. I just sit on my bed in my boxes and turn my fan on like full blast and just have it pointed directly at me for about 5-10 minutes before I put my binder on. That way I know that I'm not going to be all sweaty and I've cooled down a little bit so it'll be easier to get on because it does get a little bit sort of, it sort of sticks, makes it sort of stick to you so it's not the, the nicest thing to get on when you're wet. And speaking of that, because of the fact that you can swim with it because it is like swimsuit material. Before I reviewed it, I kind of wanted to test the fact that you can swim with it on, but I can't swim. I did my deep water confidence and all that crap, but I don't know how. I can't swim well at all. Like, if you chuck me in the sea, I'd probably drown. That and I haven't been swimming in years. It's not hot enough to put the paddling puddle up outside, but I wanted to test it. So basically all I did was I wore it in the shower the other day just to see how it would be. So if it got heavier, how much heavier it would be, how difficult it was to take off. Sort of just did a little bit of movement in it to see how different it was in water and just dry. So basically it did actually really well. I thought that it would get a lot heavier. Don't get me wrong, it did get quite heavy, but I don't know if I was over -dr dramatize dramatizing. Yeah, that being a drama person. But yeah, it got a little bit heavier, so it sort of pushed down a little bit more on your chest, but it wasn't a massive increase at all. Really good movement. Again, the only difference was it was a little bit heavy. Taking it off was a fair bit harder because again it sort of sticks and it's heavier so if you're lifting up it's just that little bit extra weight to get off um, it took me a little bit longer than it normally would to take it off but yeah it didn't do too bad what I would say if you are going to swim with it on first of all it is still a binder swimming is exercise you're not supposed to do heavy exercise in a binder so if you are wearing it for swimming don't do too much say if you normally go swimming and you wanted to do laps up and down the pool either do less laps or make sure that between every like 10 15 depending on how fit you are and how many you can do without getting out of breath and all that stuff make sure that you take like a five ten minute break because like i say it does get a fair bit heavier i was surprised it didn't get much heavier but it did get heavier enough for you to feel the difference even me just stood up in the shower like just moving around a bit just to see what had happened you could tell the difference there was definitely a bit more of a strain so just if you are going to wear it for something make sure you are careful and take breaks as with any exercise but especially because it's then going to be heavier so in terms of the binder rolling up, I've not found any serious issues with this binder moving around at all. I don't really have to adjust. I do sometimes when I go to the toilet just because I have to like lift it, untuck it to go to the toilet. 
and then tuck it back in so I tend to just readjust my chest in it a little bit um, but the only problem that I've ever had with riding up is it will ride up the tiniest little bit if I'm not wearing two pairs of pants by that what I mean is I wear brief style pants when I have my packer on so I'll put my packer in them pants and then I'll put the binder over the top and then I'll put my boxers my normal boxers over the top so that kind of creates like two things that hold it in place so if I'm not wearing the underwear underneath with the packer in it it's just up against me and it tends to slide a little bit but it doesn't create massive issues at all it's just a slight little bit so I've got to pull it down a little bit but no serious issues with that at all oh also um in terms of how I bind with it and how I sort of position my chest I suppose um I think it depends from person to person you just kind of have to find out what works best for you what makes you flatter what's more comfortable for you some people will just put the binder on and have their chest sort of pushed up against them some people will bind sort of just push the chest to the side some will do it down to the sides I'm not sure what I do actually I don't know if it's down I think it's slightly down to the side I put it on over my head pull it down and then I just put my hand up through the bottom of it so that it comes up under this bit and then just sort of lift my chest push it to the side and like a little bit down to that side and that just kind of distributes it a little bit for I think if you have a bigger chest you kind of definitely have to move it to the sides just because it evens it out better if you've got more sort of chest fat. If you have a smaller chest, you can probably easily just push it up against you um, because there's not much to bind and it won't be as obvious either way. But I think for the most part, if you've got a larger chest, GC2B are good for down to the sides or just to the sides. Again, whichever works best for you. You do sometimes get a little bit of like jiggle sticking out. Like if I do that, sometimes a little bit sticks out. Again, it just kind of tends to happen if you've got a bigger chest. Um, it doesn't tend to happen as much at this side, I think, because like one side of your chest is a little bit bigger, and this side is a bit bigger. But yeah, what all I do is basically just shove it back in and like push it down a little bit. It tends to work. Sometimes you get a little bit. It can be a bit annoying, but it's not. It doesn't look. No, but if you wear a t-shirt, nobody will see it. So it's not really a big issue in terms of people looking at you. And yeah, I think that's pretty much all that I've got to say. I can't think of anything else at the minute. If you do want to know about anything that I might not have mentioned, you have any questions you want to ask, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also message me on any of my social media, which will be on the screen now. So if you want to ask me a question about the binder, or if you have any questions or want advice or whatever in general, feel free to DM me on any of those things. Um, the only question that I can't really answer is about shipping prices and things in different countries, how much it'll cost and that sort of thing. Because I didn't pay for the binder, I didn't pay for shipping, they donated it to me. Because I can't afford another binder, mine were getting too small. And also on the basis that I would do a review for them. So I didn't actually pay for the binder itself or for shipping. So I don't know how much it would cost. The best thing that you can do for that is just to contact GC2B on their email, which I'll leave in the description below with a link to this binder specifically. And if you want to look at any others, it'll be on the same website. So you can just like go off of this binder onto another one. And I'll also leave the Instagram and the Facebook as well. So you can message them on one of those if you want to. And yeah, so if you like the video or you find it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe down below to see more from me. I upload a new video every single Sunday. Today is a Monday. Forgive me. It's normally a Sunday. And make sure to hit the bell button so you can be notified every time I upload a video. Again, feel free to follow me on any of my social media. It's all there. You know the drill. And yeah, so thank you for watching. Come on the journey and I'll post the next video.